Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. What we have here, we take the log on both sides, and this we have log 8 raised to power hex equals to log 400 on this side. The next step here, we apply the power of logarithm when we have log m raised to power p. This is the same thing as p log m that is here this becomes x log 8 equals to log 400 from here then next step here we divide both side by log 8 that is divide this side by log 8 also divide this side by log 8 at this here log 8 cancel each other we have x equals to log 400 over log 8. Then we can rewrite 400 as 8 times 50. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 8 times 50 over log 8 then this here follows the law of logarithm when we have log a times b this is the same thing as log a plus log b that is what we have here becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 50 over log 8 then here yeah, we separate this into two fractions yeah we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 50 over log 8 then here yeah, we have log 8 cancelled each other on one left here which implies x equals to 1 plus log 50 over log 8 then next step here we can rewrite 50 as 2 times 25 and what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 25 over log 8. And this also follows the law of logarithm. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 25 over log 8. At this here, we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 25 over log 8 that is here we can write it as 2 times 2 times 2 that's 2 cube and also 25 as 5 times 5 that's 5 squared that is this equation becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 cube plus log 5 squared over log 2 cube. Then here we apply the power of logarithm. And this 3 comes here, 2 comes here, and 3 comes here. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus 2 log 5 over 3 log 2 then from here we have log 2 cancel each other 1 over 3 left here as this x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3 plus can write this as 2 over 3 times log 5 over log 2 
then yeah one plus one over three same thing as one over one over three which can be written as four over three that is what we have becomes x equals to four over three plus two over three log five over log two then also here we apply change of this when we have log a over log b this same thing as log a to base b then what we have here becomes x equals to 4 over 3 plus 2 over 3 log 5 base 2 and we bring this together as one fraction now we have x equals to the same here as 3 and here we have 4 and plus 2 log 5 is 2 and the value of x here we have 4 plus 2 log 5 is 2 all over 3 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 4 plus 2 log 5 raised to all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 4 plus 2 log 5 raised to all over 3. This equals to 400 on this side. That is, here yeah, we can express 8 as 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 4 plus 2 log 5 is 2 over 3. This is equal to 400 on this side. Then this power multiplies. 3 here cancel each other. And we have 2 raised to power 4 plus 2 log 5 is 2. This is equal to 400 on this side. Then this follows law of indices when we have a raised to power n plus n. This is the same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. That is here we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power 2 log 5 raised to. This is equal to 400 on this side. Then 2 raised to power 4 implies 2 multiply itself 4 times. That's 16. Then times. Here we revise this two from power law and we have two raised to power log five square with two. Is it equals to four hundred on this side? That is this same thing as sixteen times two raised to power log five square that's twenty-five with two. Is it equals to four hundred on this side? Then this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a. This same thing as b from here. That is here we have 16 times 25. This is equals to 400 on this side. And of course, 16 times 25 gives us 400, which is equals to 400 on this side. Left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 4 plus 2 log 5 is 2 all over 3. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.